Hello, Father James Kubicki here with some words from Pope Francis on this feast of the conversion of St. Paul and the conclusion of the week of prayer for Christian unity. Quote, For I am the least of the apostles because I persecuted the church of God, but by God's grace I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not in vain. End quote. This is how the Apostle Paul sums up the significance of his conversion. At this moment, in fact, Paul understands that there is a real union between the eternally living Christ and his followers. Jesus lives and is present in them, and they live in him. The vocation to be an apostle is founded not on the human merits of Paul, who considers himself unfit and unworthy, but on the infinite goodness of God, who chose him and entrusted the ministry to him. St. Paul also bears witness to a similar understanding of what happened on the road to Damascus in his first letter to Timothy. Quote, I formerly blasphemed and persecuted and insulted him, but I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief, and the grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. End quote. The superabundant mercy of God is the sole rationale upon which Paul's ministry is founded. And it is at the same time what the apostle must proclaim to all people. In the light of the word of God, which we have heard and which has guided us during this week of prayer for Christian unity, we can truly say that all of us believers in Christ are called to declare the wonderful deeds. Beyond the differences that still divide us, let us recognize with joy that at the origin of Christian life, there is always one call whose maker is God himself. Let us move forward on the path to a full and visible communion among Christians.